You know what's a great way to get your day started? With some snaps, crackles, and pops. And no, I am not talking about cereal. I am talking about the 2020 Veloster N. Let's talk about it. What is up guys, it is Miguel, your car guy, and today I am talking about the Veloster N, and in a day where cars are transport more than fun, this thing is a true standout because it's more smiles per miles that you get with this thing, and I'm a fan. Let me go ahead and show you why. So let's start by talking about the snaps, because this thing is going to be snapping everybody's neck when they look at it, because not only is this thing one of the most aggressive looking cars sold in the US right now, it's actually one of the most cleverest, because if you look at that front bumper, you say, wow that is amazing but if you look closer you will also see that there is a big cutout here through the bumper why well better airflow management at higher speeds at higher speeds there's a lot of turbulent air coming off those wheels so the air that is crammed through that little area actually smooths out the turbulent air making it more slippery through the air so this thing has real airflow management and not a whole bunch of fake vents like a lot of other hot hatches sold here in the United States Honda Honda ah ah Sorry, sorry, that's my bad. Now the front bumper is only half of the nice design because the rear bumper is the other half. And look, that big old rear diffuser really does accentuate the track focused nature of this thing. And not only that, you also have the big rear haunches over this thing covering the tires to really show how athletic this thing is and wants to be. Another thing that I really like is the spoiler. Now, a lot of people are putting it on regular Velocities and it still looks good, but on the end it looks even better because not only is this the black with the red trim, but you have the red brake light right here that really takes this color combo to a whole new level. I like that. That's enough about the snaps, so let's talk about the crackles. Let's get into the engine. <laughs> Into a few numbers, you do have a two liter turbocharged four cylinder producing either 250 horsepower or 275 if you would like to get the performance package with your Veloster N. And just to put that in perspective, the 2020 Sonata Turbo has 180 horsepower on a bigger heavier platform than the Veloster. So the smallest gap in power between these two cars is 70 horsepower, I think, and it's on a lighter, more compact platform. So talk about a swift kick in the, you know, this thing will go ahead and move on you. That's fun. Now, I know most of you performance heads probably don't really care about the next two things I'm gonna mention, but being that it's a Hyundai, you do get America's best warranty, and yes, it actually is on the window sticker saying America's best warranty. Check it out for yourself. And, by the way, you probably don't care about the gas mileage because it's a performance car, but just to tell you, you are still getting 22 miles per gallon city and 29 miles per gallon highway, which means that this could be a great commuter car too if you need to go from point A to point B and not be so bored. And that's enough about that, so let's talk about what you've been waiting for, and I know you've been waiting for it, the pops. <laughs> Yes, it is factory. No, it is not modified. It is an N mode, but it is not modified. And oh my goodness, it is perfectly obnoxious. I love it so much. Oh, it gives me the tingles. Oh, you're wondering what N mode is. Well, you know what? Let me show you inside. So getting into the car, you're gonna see these blue paddles. One says drive mode. And if you push it, you could actually scroll between sport mode, eco mode, and normal mode. Now. The fun part is when you hit the checkered flag, because when you do, you actually put the car in end mode. You could actually see that it has the rev matching turn off and the electronic stability control turned on, but only in sport. Now the sport will actually allow a little bit of wiggle so that way you could feel in total control. But a lot of people complain, why can't I just turn it off? I'm a real driver, I know how to drive. I want a car that can completely disable it. Well. Velocity thought of that. You can actually go to the settings, go to the chassis, go to electronic stability control, and you can turn it off, and it asks you, are you sure you want it off? Hitting yes brings up this. Traction control is completely disabled and braking priority is disabled. And a few other cool things about the inside is that every single Veloster, no matter the color, comes with 
the blue seat belts and the blue stitching on the seat. Very pretty. And if you didn't know, the Veloster actually has three doors, and I'm not talking about the hatch. Two doors on one side and one door on the other. Yes, asymmetrical design. And beyond that, there's not really much else because this thing is track focused. It doesn't have a bunch of heavy things. So you don't have a sunroof. You don't have big old heads up display. You don't have a power seat. You don't have a lot of that. And that's why enthusiasts love it. It is a pure sports car. They don't weigh it down by putting things that are only good on the road, but not beneficial on the track. And that's what this whole thing's about. Drive it down to your track, ring it nice all day. And then on your way back home, get 30 miles a gallon. That's what the Veloster is made for. That's what it's designed for. And that's why the Veloster is an amazing car in a time where cars like this are dying. This is probably one of the last true fun hot hatches. And so guys, this has been the 2020 Veloster N. And no, I did not cover every single little thing on the car because there is too much to talk about. But yes, there is a lot more to give and a lot more I haven't told you. So if you're interested, stop on by, see Miguel at Universal Hyundai because I am the way to do it, guys. But if you can't buy a car from me, no worries. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, I will see you soon. Uh, yeah, baby. Most of you watching this video about the end probably don't because you're more performance performance and with the two liter turbocharged cylinder ah turbocharged cylinder yes they're all turbocharged all the cylinders well there's one turbo that uh, whatever <laughs>